What's up guys? You see, I didn't lie. New video. This is gonna be a little bit shorter. Um, I just wanna do a little bit of an analysis on Coridon right before we go into Indy. Uh, I think Indy actually will be happening as I upload this video or I'll be right before. But I wanna do a little bit of a Coridon guide. If you guys like this, please do like and sub and all that. Again, a little bit shorter video, but let's get started. Coridon, I think Coridon is probably the most interesting new restricted Pokemon as it has some really, really interesting things that just set it apart from anything else. It's also currently not being played at a super high level, which is a very good thing in Pokemon, right? Having having your restricted, or in general, having a team that is underplayed. If it's if you can somehow keep it at the level of the other restricteds, which I think Karadon has certainly has the ability to do, you have that inherent advantage where you're running, you know, a lesser known team. Um, I think these are the three main Karadon sets you'll see. I think this is the most common Karadon set, this first one. Collision Course, Flurbits, Flame Charge, Protect. Um, you will sometimes see Scale Shot, I think, over... Uh, flame charge, but I don't think this is very common as you don't have lower dice to to do very much. Um, the, the the slot here will sometimes change to Swords Dance as well. Uh, this is more common with like Sash Flutter main teams where you can icy wind and, and take advantage of that. Um, so yeah, I think in general these three moves will almost always be run: Collision Course, Collision Course, Flare Blitz, and Protect. Um, I think there's a little bit of, of a loaded dice set going around. I think this is much less common uh, just because. Clear Amulet is so, so nice on your restricted Pokemon. But this is a set that is, is kind of there, just in case you guys see it. Um, Collision Core, Skill Shot, Flutter Blitz, Protect. I think Karan will nearly always run Terra Fire. It is an extremely good defensive Terra, as well as an offensive Terra, um, when you when you use Flare Blitz and uh, Flame Charge. Flame Charge actually gets the boost. Uh, there's a hidden mechanic that gives Flame Charge a, a boost when you Terra, and makes it 60 base power. So it makes it even stronger, as well as getting the Division Boost on top of that, uh, a Terra boost on top of that, as well as having Sun itself. So yeah. Really, really strong Pokemon. Um, in terms of EVs, I think majority of people will go... I think I think bulkier on this Pokemon is better, honestly. Um, especially because you have Flame Charge, especially because you have such a nice speed stat already. And especially because you have access to Sun to set up your own Proto Flower Brain and things like that, speed control. You might not need to run as much speed as I think people are assuming you might need to, right? I, I think a bulkier set could be really, really interesting. Um, something like this, right? Could be really, really fun. Flame Charge to get your speed up, and then just start doing crazy damage, right? Um, with, with Adamant, right, you're you're still doing a ton of damage, right? And yeah, no, I think I think Karadon really has the ability to run quite a few interesting sets. I think EVs are really where you can make this Pokemon shine. So again, feel free to just run a 252-252 if that's what floats your boat, right? This this will never go wrong, right? This 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 spread will never go wrong. But yeah, before I continue, I just wanted to show you guys the Victory Road usage stats. Victory Road um, hosted, the I think, the biggest Regulation G. Tor, um, so far, and as you guys can see from the usage stats, if you take a look at this top four, Incineroar with a 70% day one usage converted into an 83% day two usage, which is just ridiculous. Amoongus with a 48.5% day one usage converted into 61%, 48.1% Earthship usage into 61% conversion, and 39% Rillaboom into 52% conversion. What does this mean? It means that in general, you're going to be playing against like this these four Pokemon 50% of the time in day two um, in this tour. And like, if you guys check out other tours, in fact, that was on Joey's Sash channel and we, we just checked out a bunch of tours. This is the same four Pokemon are, are constantly at the top, right? These same four Pokemon are constantly at the top and they're always approaching 50% usage for Rillaboom and approaching 80% usage for Incineroar. That's like the, the lowest to the high. Now, what does this mean for Coridon? Well, Coridon has something really, really interesting going for it, wherein it beats every single one of these Pokemon. Just, just straight up, right? Amoongus have stopped running Terra Water, and so you know you really can't Terra Dark in front of um, Karadon very often, right? Because of course it's just going to clear course you. Um, so you know you have an Amoongus check, Incineroar again. You don't clear, you don't care about Intimidate because of Clear Amulet. You Oko it with Collision Course quite easily. Um, like you're doing no damage with Flurbits or Knock Off. You can't punish shot on it, um, and and very commonly Karadon teams will run Fair Draft. So Incineroar again, super checked. Urshifu is nearly useless in the Karadon matchup, right? You can't use your water type moves, it does no damage in the sun. You can CC, I guess, but lowering your own defense is just going to get yourself Oko'd by Karadon, right? Like, you see where I'm going with this, right? And against uh, Rillaboom, you just destroy it, right? So I think one of the most interesting niches of Karadon, um, apart from how ridiculous it is setting up sun and all that, is how well it destroys all these meta teams, right? These meta Pokemon. I think this is going to be the standing point of Karadon, right? The fact that one Pokemon can take care of the four most common threats in the entire meta, apart from Restricteds, it's just bonkers, right? There's no other Pokemon that does this, uh, I'd say. And yeah, very, very little trade-off, I'd say, to beat all these. 
Let's talk about some common Crowdon partners. Like I like I admitted to at the start, Fluttermane very, very common on Crowdon teams. I think this Sash Fluttermane set is, is one you'll see quite a bit. Just max speed, max attack, booster protosynthesis. Uh, sorry, booster speed protosynthesis. You can Icy win for your own guy. You have your attacking moves. You still have ridiculous special attack stats. So you're still doing a ton of damage, right? Because we'll sometimes, sometimes run Terra Stellar. Um, yeah, overall, I, I think this moveset is to be expected. I think people will sometimes drop either Shadow Ball or Icy Wind for Taunt. That's extremely common. Um, if I was to pick one, I think I'd drop Shadow Ball personally for Taunt and keep Icy Wind just because it's really, really nice with Karadon. Um, as well as Specs Fluttermane also just being, of course, notoriously good beside Karadon. Um, you can run both Protos. I think the more likely Proto you want to run is probably Booster Speed. I'll okay, everything in front of you. Be faster than them. Really awesome set. Walking Wake is another really interesting pick. It pairs really, really nicely with Coridon. You have a water type that is boosted in the sun, right? Again, that's like really nice to take advantage of. You have your own Protosynthesis. These things will normally run timid max speed. Um, so you can get the Protosynthesis speed boost. Uh, I, th I think that's probably the most common set. And I think these three moves are very, very common. I've seen some Assault Vest with Snarl. I, I have seen this move set a little bit. Um, this is less common though. And I think it'll be... It'll be mostly life orb with three attacking moves. Um, specs might be might come up, but yeah, I think it's mostly going to be these these three um, and protect. Raging Bolt, another huge, 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 huge partner for uh, Raging uh, for Karadon, Sorry. With Magnet, Thunderclap, Thunderbolts, Dragon Pulse, Tri Electric, you just do ridiculous damage. You get the plus SPA uh, special attack boost in the sun. Pairs really, really nicely with Karadon. You know, you one thing you can do is you can uh, flame charge something, chip it, and then. Flood up with a thunderclap to KO it, and it just pairs really, really nicely with with Karadon. It also helps some trouble matchups like um, Kyogre, for example. Kyogre can be a little bit difficult. Raging Bolt can help patch that up. I think Fair Draft is a Pokemon you very, very commonly see, very, very commonly see on Karadon, just because you know having the Armor Tail so you don't get faked out is just really, 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 really nice. The helping Hand, Helping Hand boosts to to KO Pokemon um, with with Karadon, right? With Flame Charge and all that. Another really, really strong Pokemon, I think. This is going to be the most common first draft site in general. Uh, I think Psychic Foul Play is really strong with Helping Hand. Um, Trick Room, just to assist your Pokemon. And finally, I think Chiyu is another really common Pokemon with, with Crowdon in general. A lot of people like to run Choice Scarf, just, you know, you outspeed your own Crowdon. Heat Wave in the Sun is ridiculous damage. Overheat, of course, Dark Pulse, um, say the Ghost types that Crowdon can hit. Another really strong partner. I think these are like the most, again, the most common partners you'll see for sure with, with Crowdon. And Crown's checks. Right on checks. Crown checks, of course, include Pelipper. Absolutely nobody is surprised to see this. You know, you resist collision course, you have Terra Ghost, uh, just in case, you resist Flare Breath. This thing just destroys Crown. You literally, I think this Pokemon alone just prevents you from bleeding Crown in general. Like, or like making, you have to make game plans around, you know, getting the sun up and things like that. It really just puts a wrench in your plans. So, huge, 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 huge threat, sorry, for, for Crown. Um, Y guard again, really, really nice against a lot of these spread type attackers. Uh, and then uh, we see Fluttermane again. Fluttermane is a very common check to Karadon. The only thing about Fluttermane is its, it's usage is not extremely high anymore like it was once was. But Fluttermane is still, of course, a threat because a lot of the time these things will get the Protosynthesis speed boost in the sun. And especially when something like they have their own Focus Sash, it can be extremely difficult to KO this thing, right? It, you have to force your Terras. You have to um, play around the Fluttermane and all that, right? So, yeah. Raging Bolt as well. Um, one of the best current checks, as well as being one of the best current allies, just because you know, your Dragon Pulse follow up with Thunderclap, it's a really, really notorious combo because you get the again, the special attack boost in the sun. Um, thanks to Crydon, you Dragon Pulse it if they Terra, you follow up with Thunderclap, normally pick up the KO. So, yeah, Raging Bull, extremely troublesome, I think, for Sun, especially because again, you get your own boost, right? Tornadus now, Tornadus is probably the most cliche check essay in general. Um, Pranks to Rain Dance, Tailwind to outspeed the threats. I think Tornadus is probably the biggest threat in general, I'd say, for Crown teams. Just because Tornadus is also super splashable. Unlike the Pelipper, you can't just put Pelipper in every single team. Tornadus, however, is on many, many different upgrade types. So, yeah, it, this, can be, this can be a very, very difficult Pokemon to, to take care of. You know, you set up Rain Dance, now you're resisting Flare Blitz thanks to the Rain. You already resist a Collision Course. Yeah, uh, this thing can be a nightmare if you, you set this thing up correctly. Now, to some restricted that beat, Crowdon in general, Rayquaza, 
um, resists both its stabs, Cardinal stabs, um, can set sword sense in his face, has airlock to shut down the port of senses mons. This thing can be a menace if you position it correctly. Of course, the matchup's not like completely in the Rayquaza player's flavor because of course you have things like Fluttermane, of course you have you have um, things like Raging Bolt. However, however, like just in general, Rayquaza can put quite a few thorns in your side. You know, Airlock is just very, very nice in the matchup. As well as Kyogre, again, like Pelipper, sets up Drizzle. Um, it doesn't resist collision course, but it really doesn't matter because Kyogre is super bulky. You know, people normally invest in quite a bit in bulk, and you should be to hit KO with Ice Beam anyway. And the most common Kyogre partner will end up being Tornadus. So, in general, like Torn Ogre can be very, very difficult for, for Karidon. And finally, a sample OTS I took from Mikelder Best, who who won um, who won I believe the Trader School Tour. Um, this is his most recent OTS. I just put some EVs on it. I didn't do any specific calcs. Once again, here's the bulky crowd on that I like. I didn't do any specific calcs. So if y'all say anything here you'd like to change, feel free. Uh, I'll put the paste in the comments. Um, some really cool text here, like um, the Amoongus. Of course, the, the max speed walking wake. I, I agree that uh, Protosynthesis speed is probably the most common um, and probably the strongest. I believe my color rest is also using this. Um, AV and Cinnamor is extremely, extremely, extremely interesting on, on these crowd on teams, right? It pairs really well, or pairs really well with Fair Draft, it Flood Blitz is in the sun. Um, I, I like Adamant myself because with Trick Room and with Sun, you can do quite a bit of damage and you don't need exactly that much bulk because you have Assault Vest. I really, really like these Assault Vest in Sonoras. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, the Proto Speed Flutter, once again, double Proto Speed. Really, really strong with Crowdon. I think the other interesting thing is like way less people are running Flutter Main. I said this quite a bit, way, way less people are running Flutter Main. And that only makes your own Fluttermane even stronger, right? That, that's all that that's all it does. So yeah, Fluttermane pretty basic spread. Um, I didn't do anything specific again. If you if you have your own favorite spread, run that instead. I I I, I moved some sliders, y'all. So if y'all have a better if you have some better spreads, they're probably way better than mine. Anyways, fair draft. This one's running Dazzling Gleam. Um, I think Foul Flag would be interesting as well. But yeah, pretty centered. Fair draft set. Terrifier, Armor Tail. Um, very bulky. I, I put less into defense because you have your own Incineroar that you're very commonly beside Fair Giraffe. That's the video. Thanks for y'all for watching. A little bit of a short one. I'm trying to work on, on these kind of videos. Like I don't I don't normally like reading, reading from a script, but I also yap quite a bit. So I'm trying to I'm trying to condense it down a little more, make it a little bit shorter. Um, so that you guys can digest it easier. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please sub, like the video, comment, why Crown's the best. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for, for watching, so I'll see y'all in the next one.